you describe with wonderful popular science detail in here why dogs are so good at this. Tell us what you think most people don't know about why the kinds of things dogs can do that mm -hmm. machines can't do, that human beings can't do. Yeah. Well, they uh, imprint scent in a much more complicated and layered way than, than humans do. So the example I've been using is, um, and handlers use this example too, this is from my education from them, it's not my own, um, but they, they call it a stew or a hamburger. So what we recognize as stew, the, the dogs are smelling all of the ingredients and they can pull them out. So this becomes important in searching for IEDs because the composition of a particular homemade explosive is never going to be exactly the same every time. Um, they're very crude and easy to make in that way. So the good thing about a dog is that when they smell a particular amount of odor, a particular odor, and it can be deck cord, it can be duct tape, um, but something they recognize as part of the stew, they'll alert on it. So it doesn't need to be the complete scent of the stew, it just needs to be the individual ingredients, I think is the and way. what's the, the mixture of nature and nurture in training dogs to do this? Are all of them able to do it? Does the military have to find particularly good centers? How does that work? So I think uh, it's helpful in understanding dogs. Um, they are, as a, as a species, they are uniquely talented in this way, but dogs are like people, so <laughs> just because they're sort of born with this, these abilities and these very powerful noses doesn't mean that they're um, always adept at using them or that outside situations or circumstances or different environments um, impede them or if they become frightened or uncomfortable that, you know, even though they have this, this ability within them, it's not always um, easy for them to put it to task.